Welcome to Primecast episode 123. My name is Jesse. My name is Wyatt. And before uh, we get into the show proper, I uh, just wanted to mention that in the, in the past uh, 20 or so episodes, we noticed uh, a major decrease in audience and audiences watching or listening to the show or co- in commenting in the com- in the comments and have a lot of decrease in listener questions. Mm-hmm. Um, and right at this point where, I mean, I don't want to lose a fan base of the show. I like talking to people about the show. I like, you know, people get, uh, people looking forward to listening to the show and watching it, whatever. And, um, uh, but obviously we're doing something wrong. Um, and if you have any suggestions of what we could do different um, to improve the quality show that people in the past may uh, may have gotten tired of, feel free to type in the comments at, or or uh, send in any suggestions to primecastqna at gmail.com if you want a more um, uh, anonymous suggestion. If mm-hmm. you want. So, definitely, uh, please feel free to give us any suggestions of uh, how we can improve the show, because I'm not liking seeing a huge decrease. I mean, that just means, like, you know, people are finding us boring or or uninteresting now, or just annoyed with us, so please uh, help us out. Yeah. Um, but for, but now we'll get into... Primecast Thug Life. God damn it. Which you always hate. Um, what'd you get in the past week? Uh, me? Yeah. Um, I've essentially, uh, stepped forth with my Marvel Legends. And gotten another fuck ton of those. So have I. Um,. I, there was a guy selling uh, sets, so I got the new Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure wave, like all of it. Um, so how's that? The, so I got, uh, like, open up each figure and all that, and, like, the only problem I had was the ultimate Jessica Drew out of the box, uh, her hand came off, but she was the one to where I opened up, like, the box, and I was like, okay, I get this figure, this figure, who else is in this? Oh. That's right, so having a hand that doesn't have a wrist too much anymore on her isn't the biggest bummer. I would have been really uh, upset if anything happened to, uh, like, uh, the classic Spider-Man or 2099 or, uh, Spider-Girl, but, uh, they're really cool, uh, I don't, Hobgoblin, he has, like, that, uh, jetpack wing thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like, <laughs> trying to describe how I did this. I didn't care for the, uh, the wing piece, so I had an extra glider lying around, so I, like, I was able to stuff his feet in the little holes, but I can't really get it out. Uh, I mean, the figure's fine, it's the glider that is stressing. But I at least gave him, I took that backpack thing off my goblin and put him on a glider. And I'd like a more classic looking green goblin as well. But this is pretty cool. Uh, each figure is really solid. The new Spider-Man is great. The 2099 is awesome. He comes with an optional web cape. And then there is Spider-Girl. Really great mold. Uh, use of the female mold. I think it's the same kind as for uh, Captain Marvel. And... I'm just going to look. What the fuck? What the fuck? I literally just looked up at my Spider-Man shelf to, like, because I know I got a couple others this week, and there's a Door to the Explorer action figure on it. (laughs) I would, you know, I, I would say, like, you know, maybe my nephew or my niece did that when they were over. Except for the shelf is, like, eight feet in the air. Someone's fucking with me. Whatever. So that really surprised me. Holy shit. Uh, I got a, uh... 
what is that, Ares build a series, uh, Spider-Man, and I got a battle damage Spider-Man, I got a redeco of the Sinister Six box set Spider-Man, and I got, uh, Marvel Legends Kane Spider-Man from Comic Book Shop, my tax return was really nice, so I've been cleaning up shop, uh, around this area, uh, it's a couple online purchases, but there's this, uh, toy shop around town that is really good, and the next three things, next three things I found there, too, um, and it, all these are in box, and these are ones I'm going to keep in box, because I already have them loose. Um, I just really wanted, these are these are three figures I would not have mind having in the box on my wall forever. And it's the original Marvel Legends Classics, Spider-Man Classics run, when they're still in the plastic trays, and it's the original Spider-Man, 2099 Spider-Man, and uh, Scarlet Spider. And... I got... Oh, who'd, okay, you who'd you get? Who'd you get? Um... Was it Thor? Oh yeah, you got that Thor. How do you like him? He's pretty fucking wicked. I like that Thor. There's a lot of people who were really uneasy about it. I thought he's cool. I kind of would, I kind of would liked it better if the helmet came off. Yeah. Cause I think I'm pretty sure that mold was when it was like supposed to be part of like the older Marvel Legends line when it was shown at Toy Fair or Comic Con a, a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that helmet was supposed to come off. Uh, Sentry? Yeah. Sentry's pretty sweet. Sentry's cool. The only thing I don't like is they gave him, like, a uh, open hand. Uh, but not two okay. fists. Uh, Scarlet Witch? Ooh, she's tall. Mm -hmm. She's way tall. Iron Fist? I like him. And, well, and I've had Hawkeye for a while. Hawkeye is so cool. And, but, yeah, but then by with that combination, got... Um, Odin. Ah, oh, yeah, my last piece of Odin comes in tomorrow. I was kind of up. I was kind of disappointed because I was like, you know, the whole point of wanting to get Scarlet Witch because I'd be able to build the King Thor. Yeah. But after like watching reviews, I realized that the head that came with Scarlet Witch was actually um, Odin. I'm like, uh, well. I actually would want Scarlet Witch more than the other chick. Mm hmm. And that's Captain the one I'd that's the one I had found and hid. So I'm like, alright, guess I'll build o Odin. Cool. So that that's all done. That whole wave is really neat. Uh there's a couple I don't yeah. care for, like I didn't buy Machine Man. The only thing I yeah. changed on Hawkeye is I wish I didn't I wish he didn't have that uh Winter Soldier arm. Is it from Winter Soldier? Yeah, essentially. And that's it for me. Cool. So, did I okay. wait? Did I talk about Silverbolt in the full Superion? I think I did. Mm, I don't think so. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just making sure. Because I was looking at Superion about, on my shelf. Yeah, because you talked about like how you got the general because I said I wasn't going to put them together till the. Yeah, 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 okay. Out, I remember the conversation went, now, exactly, yeah. You, you couldn't uh, wait, so you put him together just to get the general idea. Yeah, I, st I still can't wait. He's sitting up there right now, all combined, and he looks really cool. I'm seeing what some people are doing with fan modes, and yeah, this combiner war stuff gets is getting really cool. I even saw a great, great transformation for Menasaur. Really? Yeah, and it, it looked great. It looked really, really good. What it, did they do? Uh, essentially, like, they didn't do too much. They switched, uh... Who did they switch? I know they switched, uh... Breakdown. With... They switched... Am I getting a phone call, or... What the fuck? Okay, sorry. My phone literally just kept vibrating and vibrating and non-stop. I was just getting a bunch of texts <laughs> back and forth. Um... They, they switched, um... Fuck! What's his name? Dead End and Breakdown. Okay. They switched them as like an arm and a leg. And it, uh, Breakdown I think works better as an arm than a leg because I don't like how his front hood just kind of like flips over. Right. And it just hangs it's on his calf. very lazy. Or on his shin. Yeah. Um, I wasn't too onto that. They just took his hips and they straightened them out and like filled out his whole hip, his whole hip area to where like even if they straightened it, it didn't look, uh, like, you just, you know, used an extra joint you're not supposed to to make him taller. Um, right. 
and just how they had this shoulders transformed beefed him out and like made him really well proportionate made him look really good like with his hand with those uh gun hands it looked so nice i i gotta find it it's in, it's in some group on facebook i'll go look for it now yeah i definitely like to see it because yeah, I, I love the Combiner Wars stuff that's coming out, and if there's, like, simple little combinations that could, like, really make them better, I'm all for that. Oh, yeah, I was even playing with, uh, just Superion, and I was finding a few. Yeah, it's great. Combiner Wars is great, great, uh, great. Uh, speaking about Combiner Wars, oh. um, they've actually, uh, put out pre-orders for the next wave already. Uh, the... Leader class, uh, what was it uh, Thundercracker? Was mm -hmm. it? I can't. All of a sudden, I just had a huge brain brain for whether it's Thundercracker or Skyward. Yeah, I cannot think of Dead End's name there for like three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's up for pre-order. Uh, the Voyager's uh, uh, hot spot in Cyclonus, and the entire deluxe wave that completes his, that completes his, completes Defensor is out, or is up for pre-order. It's not that three protected bots and one other obscure one you get, you are able to build uh, Defensor in one fell swoop, which I like. Yeah, like, I, I get what they were doing with how they uh, rationed out the, the first two waves, but uh -huh. it I got really annoyed after a while that like I really just can't put this together and it became more exactly. annoying than exactly. anything. It's, it makes sense, but then again, fuck them for doing that. Yeah, I like I saw the business of it. I'm like, okay, you're insuring people, you know, to stay connected to it to complete it. But <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'm getting really antsy. Really? People are going to get it. Whether people are going to get it, if they want it, they're going to get it either way. So why? Fuck with their heads, you know. Yeah. Okay, this um, is the guy. Yeah, I pre-ordered Hotspot. I did not uh, pre-order the Deluxes just because um, you know they're always available. Yeah. Um, but luckily, I was able to get a Hotspot pre-order before they were sold out of those. Yeah, they just have um, the uh, or at least Big Bad just has the um, the double pre-order right with Cyclonus and Hotspot. Right. So you have to get Cyclonus as well. I kind of want Cyclonus. I like Silverbolt enough to get Cyclonus, and I like Cyclonus enough to get a Cyclonus again. Right. Be like my third Cyclonus. Uh, yeah, that would be my third one too. But I'm not going to get that one because I have the original Deluxe and I have the lighter purple gray from the reveal of the Shield line. Yeah, I do too. I have that in the original. Which is almost like just an Americanized version of the Henke version. Mm-hmm. And even still, yeah. though, I, I still don't use him. I I really like the look of the Dark Purple Classics. That'll still be my Cyclonus, but, you know. Right. We'll see where this fits in. Um, so that's up. Um, new Masterpiece MP25 uh, tracks photos. Official full-color photos have been uh, released. And that thing is looking pretty nice. Oh, tracks. I saw some but, people get uh, really antsy about this, and then, like, that all went away, and everyone got really, really excited. Which is fine. I thought he, I think he looks neat. But, yeah. I, they didn't show any official pictures of the veal commode yet, though. Uh, no, but they said... No, yeah, they did. I think they did. Just not painted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. No, no painted uh, veal commodes, because I really wanted to see... How the flames look on looked on the hood. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it still it still is really neat that it does come with a stand for the mm -hmm. flying car mode. I love that. And it comes with some guy I forget who his name is in uh, a little micro blaster. I don't even know who who, who this guy is. Do you know? Uh, no. And I don't have the page open because my internet's being fritzy. I don't want to no. mess out Skype. I know what you're talking about. I know he yeah. comes with somebody who's a reference, but... Right. Because uh, I didn't get a good look at tracks yet. All I saw was the... All I saw were the original pictures of the unpainted. And then I, uh... 
while we were talking about scrolling through and I saw the the new painted picture. Right. It looks hot. I, no, I'm excited should... though for that stand. That means that they're. I don't know. I I was worried for the masterpiece line, and I'm not saying this like saves it, but I'm you know it's a cool touch that they're throwing in you know bases because we've had uh -huh. bases here and there, so it makes tracks a little bit more special. And I'd have been fairly yeah. irritated if he didn't have his uh, flying car mode. Oh yeah, that, that would make no sense. I mean, if even if he if he didn't have it, it it would make zero zero sense because I yeah. Mean, there's, there's, it, it's almost a fan mode in itself. Mm -hmm. So that mean it would have made no sense that they didn't do that. Uh, speaking of masterpieces, MP, uh, twenty three, I think, is it Star Saber? Star Saber is coming out in ten days in Japan. Anyway. Holy shit! Yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, DX nine. A third-party company that's made uh, mostly uh, smaller figures and made an awesome upgrade kit for uh, for Evasion Optimus Prime. I believe you said you have that, right? No, I was gonna get it. I haven't gotten it yet, though. Oh, I thought. Yeah, you're saying like you saw it at a convention. And you thought. You know, yeah, I saw it uh, in the case at TFCon. Okay, but they're making their own version of a, a masterpiece-inspired Rodimus Prime. Now this is like usually I'm not too uh, into third party like full fledged figures. Mm -hmm. Like usually I'm more into accessories. But this thing has me really intrigued. Because it's not necessarily based on the cartoon, but it's more based on the Japanese manga that Ron Miss Prime was in. Very stylized, very sharp angles on his uh, head and chest and arms and his back fin thingy. Yeah, and and it's the face and this this is they wanted to clarify that this is not like a hot rod to Rodimus figure, much like the original masterpiece. This is a strictly a masterpiece, uh, masterpiece uh, Rodimus Prime. Uh huh. Um, and it's just about as tall as MP10, mm -hmm. which is like a become a staple among masterpiece figures now. And one unique thing is, which it had me fooled for a little bit, is that the trailer transforms into the figure. Somehow. Yeah. Which is crazy, crazy awesome. Yeah, I was looking at that too. Um, I was actually looking at him today at work. He, he looks really neat and he has a lot of potential, but I feel like he has some... It's the fact that he does transform into the trailer as well. I always found Rodimus Prime to be fairly, like, an angular build, and this guy uh, feels a little bulky. He does seem a little bit square, like, especially in the torso. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the giant fins off his back. The, the Those fins are on his back, that's, that is one problem I do have with that, especially from the back. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, that thing's pretty giant. But everything else, too. Like I like his proportions, like, from his uh, calves... And, like, his legs, uh, he has tall legs, and then his arms fill out really well. It's just a matter of he's just a little square while doing that. Mm -hmm. So, like, I want him. Well, I he looks cool. I don't know if he's, like, 170, whatever he's priced at, somewhere around there, uh, when I already I have a Rodimus. That seems Rodimus. like a pretty fair price. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. It's just, like, when I already have a Rodimus. Yeah. But I, uh, I'm really curious about this. Like, uh, DX9, they also did, did they do that Mirage? They did. Yeah, because I, I thought that looked really good, too. And I'm not all about getting too many third-party combiners. I'm just like, uh -huh. I'll wait. Because uh, Takara might end up doing it one day, especially the big characters. Um, right. And Mirage isn't a big character, but they're doing cars. And I was actually thought about getting that one. I was like, damn, that looks really good. So hopefully what would definitely, it turns out. What would definitely sell me on this if it had an opening matrix chamber that MP10's matrix could fit in? That'd be awesome, but that's a lot to work in. Maybe I mean, hey, maybe that's why his he's so square. I know it's it's very optimistic, but if they did, that would be a huge plus. Oh yeah, I agree. And the way his chest looks, I mean, it's very 
pan it looks like there's like panel lines in the midsection of his chest and like the same kind of panel line kind of runs down to the bottom of his chest that looks like it could open but I don't know it might not uh, looks cool looks cool and, oh yeah, it, it can definitely hold mp10's matrix a lot better than say yeah with, um, looks like it like it the underside of his hand looks like it's actually molded to do so. He got some chubby hands. Uh huh. Um. Were you ever going to get masterpiece exhaust? I was wanting to. Yeah, and they they've I'm, that whole thing is really confusing to me. Like, I understand why. Like, in case no one knows, like it's base. It's a repaint of uh, masterpiece wheeljack. It is Diaclone colors with a new head. And the problem with this is that the original Diaclone version basically was an advertisement for Marlboro. It had the red and white paint job and it says uh, Lancia on the hood. Yeah. And, bas and um, that's, it's illegal to sell anything that's toy or collectible that's m marketing either alcohol or tobacco products and this this that's kind of falling out of category but they actually like changed up the paint deco on the hood to like that be like you know perfect like pyramid but it's like kind of more angular but apparently that's not even good enough yeah and they're um um yeah and so it's probably going to be pretty difficult to get this figure in the in the U.S., but uh, a website uh, posted a image of the package, and they're saying that this may not may be may may be good news. Somehow, I, I I could not figure out how this was good news, but somehow they're saying it won't be as hard to import it, but still kind of hard. Regardless, it's kind of a non-story. I'm not even sure why I brought it up, but. Still, kind of balls, balls that they can't really sit, like BBTS took down their pre-orders for it. Yeah, I think all major online retailers pretty much ceased all orders on that. Uh, what the hell is that little orange thing he's carrying? I don't know. <laughs> my browser are open because my oh. shit sucks. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, I I get why, like, all the reasons. I really wanted it, though. I just thought he looked sharp, and I like that, uh, I like that color scheme, and I loved the Wheeljack mold. The Wheeljack mold blew me away. I loved how each car, uh, I bought. Wheeljack, right? Yeah, I got Wheeljack, uh, each, I've gotten, uh, each mold. I don't have every car, but I have each mold, I think. For the most part, at least. I don't know. Um... And I, they kept getting better. I think the first one I got was Red Alert. Great. Got Prowl. Better. I got Wheeljack. Penultimate. It was awesome. Did you get Bumblebee? I did get Bumblebee. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if I... If I uh, you ever said that in the show or not. Uh, I got him for Christmas. So it may have been one of those things that tapered off. Okay. No, we did. We had a long conversation about Bumblebee. Remember? Okay. I thought he was too short. Yeah. Which he is. He's good. Uh, the way I have him set up now, uh, he looks really good. So, I'm more pleased with Bumblebee. I've come around to him a bit. Um, a company, uh, G Creations, reveals their own masterpiece style Grimlock. And it's part of their uh, King Dinobot Combiner project. Yep, this is one that I saw today too, and I was like, okay. And I kept scrolling. Um, and I'm not sure, like, I mean, besides the whole Dinobot combiner aspect... Yeah. This thing looks almost identical to Masterpiece Grimlock. I, that's what I looked at it for, and I was like... My thought process was like, and again, I don't try to diminish any sort of third party. Uh, yeah, it is IP infringement, whatever, but they're making great stuff. Uh, I can't afford to buy all of it, so I'm not going to try and break, break my back to, uh... But I do see some third-party stuff where I just I have no attachment to it. Most of it, yeah, I think it looks great. 
I just can't afford it. Um, this is one of them that I look at, and I'm like, I don't, I don't need that. I already have that. <laughs> like even from the detail, of the hinge on the back of Grimlock's dino, dino mode, how the sides flip out looks nearly identical. Yeah, I just. My roommate's being loud. He's getting excited over video games. If you can hear that. <laughs> yeah. I have friends there too. They just we just bought the Xenoverse tonight. Oh. Yeah, and they're trying it out. Have you? Yeah, you, you haven't killed yourself over the server problems of that yet. No, there's server problems. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, we'll talk about that in a bit then. Uh, <laughs> let's continue with this. But yeah, let me know about those server problems. I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I just okay. I. This thing, not even the fact that it looks identical, and it, d it doesn't look identical, well, I'm pointing out differences like on it, like the legs are a bit different, and the wider stance, and different sculpt, and eh, there's there's differences, but I just feel like the skeleton of it is essentially too similar, and uh -huh. I already don't care enough about combining Dinobots to spend money on it, uh, at right. least excessive amounts of money, so this like... This Grimlock that is coming out for a gimmick that I don't really care for as a figure, I feel like I already have. Yeah, I just... I, whatever. <laughs> uh, but good luck uh, to him. Everyone who's... I know people are excited about combining Dinobots. Rad. Yay. We got our first kind of sketch look at uh, Combiner Wars Ironhide. Oh, and Yeah. And it is just a repaint of uh, one of the Stunticons. I forget which one. Uh, or not that one of the Stunticons, or was it one of the Protectobots? I think one of the Stunticons is repainted into the Protectobots. The one, the not Wild Rider, I think is who it is. Okay. Whoever is, like, the replacement for Wild Rider. Yeah, I'm totally not thrilled with it. Uh, it, it, it doesn't look Ironhide-ish at all to me. I I'm ex if this is it I'm excited to see it. I'm I appreciate the classic their universe mold uh, for Ironhide. I love it for Ratchet. I think for Ratchet it's great, but for Ironhide I I don't know. My my mold also had problems to it. I had to fix. So that probably made me a little sour. Um, yeah. Hey, I just remembered something else I got Marvel Legends wise, and I want to tell you because I think you'll like it. What? I got a Toy Biz, uh, like, comic book line, like the classics line. Yeah. There's so many different Marvel Legends lines. The only existing Hulkbuster, ex exactly. I got the uh, Marvel Legends Hulkbuster. Ah. He's cool, and I'm excited to have him next to the Build-A-Figure. And holy yeah, shit, the, dude's a beast. Yeah. Build-A-Figure would just stomp on the old one. Oh, even the old one is still so cool. Uh, anyway... <sighs> Yeah, that's really cool. If you can get your hands on one of them, that's really yeah. rowdy. Uh, yeah. What were we talking about? Things. Ironhide. We got well. Ironhide. Yeah. I'm excited for an updated really look on Ironhide. My, I, yeah. He doesn't look much like him. It's not my Ironhide. No. Nope. Well, uh, we are supposed to be getting a masterpiece Ironhide, though, right? Uh, it's rumored. I don't think it's been confirmed anywhere, but it's heavily rumored. I th him and tracks, sure him and tracks were rumored, yeah. and then soon after we saw pictures of tracks, and then there. Oh wait, yep. there was a mysterious picture released as well, of some sort of masterpiece Ironhide, and we don't know if it's third party or official. Oh. Uh, but we we did just getting a little bit closer down to today. We did get finally get pictures of uh the Star Savers box. Which yes. excites me. Looks just so much anime. Uh. -huh got this. It says Cybertron. I, I mean, I'm, a lot of people got their tits in a bundle about That's it impressive. being a numbered release. Did they? I thought they were mad about that with uh, Exhaust. I think they were too, but I mean, a lot of people were upset that they that Star Saber was MB24 and not like special fans. I think demand. people are just generally mad. People just are mad at everything. People are just like to get mad. Where can I target my anger at? This. But yeah, the thing's fucking sweet. Um, and the interview of the guy who designed it, uh, I just remembered like he apparently he's been asked about doing um, uh, 
was it, uh, Victory Leo many yeah. times. And he said and he said that it like they're just focusing on Star Saber right now and they they and the other things about to do. Which is um, sad. So, I love so, Victory Leo so much. Yeah. It's one of my favorite so, designs. I just want like I don't even want I don't even need masterpiece. I just want classics. Give me a Voyager Combiner Wars Victory Leo. I have a little deluxe class size Victory Leo. Is that the uh, robot master thing? Yep. Yeah, I also and wanted it combined, that. And it combines with Star Saber. I got, actually got him posed right now. Victor, uh, robot master's Victory Saber. Yeah. Pretty uh, sweet. It's not there. All right. Uh, what's next? Okay, some stuff from Australia Toy Fair, which I actually forgot about. We should have mentioned these first, but um, <laughs> do, do, do. We, they and uh, they uh, announced a Platinum Edition G1 Dinobot set, uh, which there's not many details about that yet, but a lot of people are excited about this. But, I mean, with the previous announcement of the uh, same uh, Platinum Edition of Astro Chain and Blitzwing. Yeah, the crazy color horrendous, schemes. Horrendous, horrendous colors. I'm hoping that the Dinobots won't have those stupid-ass colors. I feel like they will. I hope not. I think um, they might. They, I think they will. I. Either way. Either way, it sucks. They said that Masterpiece Tracks is not MP25. Hmm. And that MP25 is set in September, but they can't reveal the name before Takara Tomy. So, that's interesting. Oh, and, uh. Do, 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 uh. Trypticon is getting released in a G1 Platinum Edition set. Wait, like G1 Trypticon? Huh? G1 Trypticon? Yeah. Oh, hot damn. Yeah. How about that? And, uh, yeah. And if, um, that has a true G1 color, definitely picking that one up. Uh, there's we'll also see. Perceptor and Blaster. Uh, Leader Starscream is for, uh, Wave 4. Was that Leader Starscream or is it a, uh, Voyager? Mold Starscream. Yeah, it's going to be a repaint of Thundercracker. Are you sure? I saw some weird mold. Yeah, that was like a canceled Voyager class seeker mold that was put, that was planned, but then they just uh, scrapped it. That's too bad. It looked like it had potential. Yeah, I did see that too. Oh, that nose cone crotch was kind of silly. I felt like it was fairly also awesome. mistransformed because it was probably made out of like Play Doh. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, Hasbro Masterpiece Starscream is going to be MP11 with a, with the coronation set in it, hopefully. And if it does, wait. So Hasbro is re is releasing an MP11. Yep. Like original Starscream. Yep. My Marvel Legends Iron Spider almost just fell into a bowl of chocolate ice cream. Nice. And if it does come with a crown and uh, cape. Get in that. Oh yeah, I already have it. Uh, so yeah, I know. I, spent, I, never, I, I did. Spent, I never got a chance to get MP11. I spent too much money um, on it. There's some more pictures of Masterpiece Star Saber standing next to stuff and around stuff. In stuff, uh, around stuff, on yeah. stuff. Yeah. There's just stuff in these pictures. Actually, it's not even a transformer. Yeah. Um. If you, okay, speaking about Hulkbuster, for fuck Hot Toys. Yeah. If you want to throw down some real money. I don't. <laughs> I can't. You can buy a ten foot Hulkbuster statue for twenty one thousand and five hundred dollars. Twenty one thousand dollars. Holy shit, what the fuck would someone do with that? How tall is it? Ten feet. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Ten, like... I'm gonna get much? six. You're I can fit that in a house. You Easy. can get six of those. You fucking, you have to sell your house to get it. I read this article, I don't know if it's true or not. 
Uh, it's probably very much not true, but this guy had like 283 pairs of Jordans, and he pawned or sold them all off to buy a house for him and his fiance. Uh huh. If that's real, that's pretty cool. But I'm totally ready for it to not be real. I didn't look into it. It was a headline on Facebook I read. I didn't do my due diligence. Sorry. Um. And uh, I saw a bunch of new photos of the Hulk, uh, the Hot Toys Hulkbuster. And did you know, like the whole like chest and head, like yeah, can open up to reveal a little Iron like, Man. Yeah, it's not actually a full figure. It's actually just a bust. Oh yeah. Which at first I was like, damn, you can get your Mark Forty Three inside there, but no, it's just a little. That'd be insane. Portion. What if you could? What if the bust was like a space filler, and like you pop it out, and there's a huge hollow thing in there for you to pop one in there if you have the Mark Forty Three. You imagine? Damn. That'd be that'd be a huge surprise. That would be insane. Hot Toys would win. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh. Uh, Marvel Legends Shield set has been officially released. Yeah. At Toys R Us, but it's going for crazy stuff. prices on eBay. Is it? It's not. It's like fifty bucks in the store, isn't it? Yeah, it's going for eBay around a hundred and fifteen dollars. Jeez. Yeah, if I don't Dang. find it, I guess I won't cry. But God. Yeah, I mean, this is one that was one set that I was initially excited about at first, but then with the uh, recent announcements of everything that's going to come in out down the line, this is one that could be passed on, but yeah, if, if, if the opportunity comes up to get it at a decent price, then yeah. Gonna get it, gonna get it, gonna get it. Gotta get it. And that's all I really have for news. Essentially all there really is for news. Yeah, and I checked everywhere, but a lot of little stuff. We little bits. Um, yeah, I got nothing. It's you know out what time now. That it is. Uh, it's eleven fifty-one. Question time. Oh, I thought you were gonna say bedtime as well. No. Damn. Soon. Soon after question time. Bedtime. Oh, you know what I want to have you? Okay, oh, one thing I want to talk about. We haven't even talked about the, the new episodes of Walking Dead yet. Hey, guess what? We can actually just talk about all of them because we have nothing in the Gmail. <laughs> nice. So, did you, uh, you watch last week's episode? Fucking A. Creepy Rick is creepy. Creepy Rick is not creepy. Creepy Rick is like. not. It is so weird how they're playing this season. It is so good. I To me, season five is competing for best season with season two. Right. I love season two. Um, season five is, at least up to this point, so good. Every death that they've done, which they've all been one surprising two, I have felt bad for each character. And they remind you subtly. Like, they had a Dale reference, like, two weeks ago. Um... And they don't reference that often. Um, the whole season has been solid. And I knew, I, I knew before the end of the season, Rick, spoilers by the way, for the past couple weeks' episodes, um, I knew Rick was going to shave. I was just waiting for it. And I bet fucking uh, McFarland Toys is having a panic attack now because didn't they just like show off a new figure of him where he had a big bushy beard uh it's not a big bushy beard I've got it but yeah he is season 4 Rick essentially like god damn it now we gotta give him a fucking haircut now oh McFarlane is all over the place I think McFarlane needs to calm down and stop they they need to stop <laughs> Because there's like three or four Rick Grimes, there's two Governors, there's like two Carls, uh, there's two Daryls. Um, yeah, they need to calm down. Uh, they just need to stop making Carl figures till that kid's done growing. <laughs> They're yeah. never going to catch up to him. Um, Carol yeah, dropped that act of that goody two-shoe housewife act. 
and talked I about love the Carol monster. so much. I here's the thing though. I like I want this. I want Alexandria, and Alexandria is a big thing in the books. Um, but for the show wise, so for the sake of the show, um, I want Alexandria to be legitimate. I want these people to be actually good people. I want everyone there to actually look in the best interest of the group that we know. I want these people to not end up being Terminus slash uh, Woodbury uh, people. I don't want that uh, because, for one, I'm tired of that act. I think we need to see that there are actually good people in the world because, you know, they are. I know the plot of the show is fuck everybody, but, you know, for the sake of I'm going to be watching the same thing repeatedly, that's annoying. Um, I'm tired of seeing them get betrayed. Um, but I also love how... How much as well they want these people to be good, but they are so ready for them to not be. Uh -huh. And they look at this place and they're like, yeah, so this is actually a really nice place, so if they try to dick us over, we're just going to take it. <laughs> Which is, uh, like, yeah, fucking A, like, that's what you need. Um, I don't, it's been a while since I read this part of the book, uh, like, fully with Alex Energy. I know it's a continuing thing with... You know, because we're going to start getting into a, a little arc here um, about communities. And Alex Andrews is one of them. Uh, so I I want this to be good. Uh, there's a few uh, people... Well, Norman Reedus was in an interview and he said the season finale, which is finally, we're going to get a 90-minute season finale. Nice. So excited. We haven't gotten that yet from The Walking Dead. Um he said the, the season finale is going to... He said, bring your Kleenexes and you're going to be yelling at your TV. Which means someone's probably going to die. Um, I don't think it's going to be Rick. It's probably not going to be Carl. It's probably not going to be Michonne. I think it's between uh, three characters. Um, I think it's between... Carol. Uh, Glenn. And Daryl. I can definitely see Glenn. I could see Glenn because there's been... I don't want to say this. Okay, mild book spoiler and possible TV spoiler. I don't know. Um, I'm going to talk about things that happen in the books. So, eh. eh, eh, eh. Alright. Um, there's been already multiple references in the show to Glenn's death in the books. This season. There's already been two or three references uh, to how he dies in the books. Uh -huh. Um, so they, it could definitely be Glenn. It could be Carol because you know, she was talking up that kid, and that kid could go tell his parents, and his parents might not be about that. Also, Rick is all about that kid's mom. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was awesome. Damn, like it is so weird to see everybody cleaned up. By the way, that is the weirdest thing. It's a different show. Except for Daryl. Daryl doesn't give a fuck about anything. Except for spaghetti, he'll fucking throw it down for some spaghetti. Yeah, but even still, that I, I, it, it, it might be Daryl going, because they're out there, you know, collecting guns, and Daryl's like, well, we, we might not need these, man. And he's the one who was like, no, nah, I don't trust these people. So, that's my Daryl impression, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, if, you know, they're leading Daryl up to get weak and to, you know, lie his trust in the wrong basket. Um, I also hope, uh, what's his name, Aaron? Uh, I hope he turns out to be an actually cool guy. What I saw of him in the last episode was awesome. Like, he seems like a cool dude. I don't want him to become a piece of shit. I just want these people to be good people. Um, also, a funny story when we were watching last week's episode. Uh, I was watching it with my roommate and my mom. And, uh, she wasn't, I, I guess she just wasn't paying attention. But that horse, Buttons... Uh, buttons got taken down. I was like, oh, huh, oh, buttons. And I made a status saying, RIP buttons. Uh -huh. And she scrolled through like half an hour later. It looked at me and goes, Buttons died? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you didn't watch. She's like, I didn't see that. And I was like, yeah, Buttons died. And my mom was so heartbroken that Buttons was dead. <laughs> Such a character taken too soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Strong season so far. Yep, I'm, I'm a lot, a lot of character development going on here, which is nice to see. Is in some slow, as you, as people would say, slower episodes. Which is 
fine. I, again, my favorite season is season two. Season two is I, arguably the yeah. most boring. I never had a problem with season two. I've always loved it. I, I dug it a lot. I can watch it from start to finish, and it has such a huge, like, payoff. It feels good. Ugh. Season 2 doesn't get any love. Uh, um, what What about Better Call Saul? I gotta catch up. I've only it? I've only seen the first two episodes. Really? Yeah, I gotta catch up. That's actually a plan for this weekend. Uh, I've got some time off, finally. So I kind of want to catch up. I've been, I haven't watched... Uh, Last uh, this week's episode yet, but we've got it DVRing. So yeah, whenever I get the chance, I'm going to. You, you're you're gonna like it. There's a lot of exciting, uh, really cool moments in it. Oh, even still, uh, when the show opened up and I saw them making dough, I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> yeah, really. I knew. I was like, no. Though, which is great. With, with his creeper mustache and glasses. Yeah, well, he's fine. He's so paranoid, God. Oh, yeah. I mean, he has every right to be. And he's just, all he does is just sit at home and watch his old commercial over and over again. Just think about the good life. Poor old guy. Yeah. Yeah, how excited were you to see Tuco again? Uh, yeah, it's like all I've seen is like his introduction, so. <laughs> Fucking, um. I wasn't expecting that. Colombian bow tie. I wasn't expecting uh, to see Tuco that early, like in the first episode. I think I've only actually seen the first episode because I haven't seen anything else with Tuco. All I know is Tuco is in the end of an episode. Was that the first episode or the second? Yeah, that's the first episode. Holy shit! Uh, yeah, you d- you have a lot of uh, catch up to do, Mister. Yeah, well, I have a DVR, so it's not gonna it's not gonna be like these shows that I will. No, oh, I'm gonna watch like Doctor Who. I still haven't watched the eighth season of Doctor Who. Uh, Supernatural. I haven't watched the tenth season of that. Um, but Better Call Saul is DVR'd. I need it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I can't really talk to you too much about what else is going on in there. Then is it some cool shit? Oh, uh, it's getting there, man. Like, especially the episode before last. Um, well, because I didn't see this week's episode. Yeah. W- without explaining, without spoiling a lot of stuff, I mean, you already saw Mike in the first episode. I know. Uh, I saw a commercial while watching The Walking Dead for for it, and Mike is uh, becoming prominent. It oh looks yeah, like. yeah. Which it really excites me, like. Ever since Better Call Saul uh, debuted, I've been rewatching the entire series of Breaking Bad again. Mm hmm. And I'm up to the end of season four again. Like, God, I really love fucking Mike. Uh, oh, such a great yeah. character. Mike is really cool. But although he is he is getting a lot older, it's funny to think of, like this show takes place six years before Breaking Bad. He looks older now. Well, looked older then, considerably. I know he's a bit because he's, it's impossible to make him look younger, but it's really funny when you think about it like that. If, say, you were to watch him in order. Yeah. Oh, but Mike is a badass. Mike is a badass. I like him a lot. Um, do you think we're going to see Negan this season? I think Negan could be the season finale. Um, if one of my a theories of is correct. Been- if one of my theories is correct, we will see Negan by the end of the season. I know a lot of people have been really wanting to see it, see him since like season three. I don't want to see Negan yet. I don't. I the two reasons I don't want to see Negan yet, and it's not actually for storytelling. It's totally selfish bullshit reasons. Um, because one, he does some shit I'm not fond of, and it's gonna hurt to actually watch happen. Uh, two. I feel like Negan will be towards the end of the show. Like, we'll, we'll start to see the decline and, like, the actual end of the show. Uh-huh. I know the show has to end, but, you know. Yeah, I, I often I often wonder how much life The Walking Dead, you know, <laughs> how much life The Walking Dead still has in it as a show. Um, yeah, that's something I've been thinking about, too. Because they can't go forever. It's going to get stale after a while, but it is their cash cow. It is... I think the biggest show on television right now, and has been. Uh, didn't didn't Negan take 
uh, Carl's eye. Negan didn't do that. Oh. No. Negan. Did? N- Carl's eye was an accident. Uh, Negan. Did you want me to just tell you what Negan does? I, it's about Glenn. It's about Glenn. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know all about that. Yeah. So when uh, Glenn picked up that bat, I was like, you better "Put that the fuck down." <laughs> I got real, like, I sat up in my chair and I was like, don't fucking touch that. Is Negan still alive in the comics? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. uh, he's alive. I'm just kidding. Okay, he's alive, yeah. There's more to it than that, but yeah, he is alive. <sighs> okay. Um... Like, he's not just, uh, being a douche. How did Carl actually lose his eye? Mm. If I remember correctly, what it had happened was uh, Rick and a group of people and Carl were held up uh, trapped somewhere and there was a herd outside and they had to get through the herd and um, this woman, was, this one woman was with them who had a gun and they got through the herd and if I remember correctly the zombies got her and she freaked out and I think she started randomly shooting and she shot Carl's eye out. Because, like, Carl, there's, like, part of Carl, in the books, there's part of his head just missing. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think they're going to do that in the show. I really do. I think that'll be fucked up to see, but I think they will do it. It'll be very fucked up. It could very well just be the season finale. They could leave everyone thinking Carl's dead. Getting a whole Did, blown uh, one, through his head. One more question about the comics. Didn't Rick lose his hand early on in the comics? Oh, yeah. Rick, long long time ago, like where the show is, it's where the book has lost his hand. Uh, Rick lost his hand, uh, I want to say, they are still in the prison. Oh, really? Yeah, the governor took Rick's hand. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think what it was written off as is they bestowed that privilege to Merle in the show. And I think if they were to cut off Rick's hand and do, like, four more seasons with the just left hand, that'd be really weird. It would be, be very problematic and unnecessary. Yeah, it, w- it was probably where they got to with Herschel's leg, where they were like, this is really cool, let's cut off his leg, you know, we'll green screen it. And after a while, they're like, fuck. <laughs> like, Can we just kill him now? This no, they were just like, uh, let's just write it off that they found a, uh, a, a perfectly sized prosthetic. Uh Good enough. Then he died. <laughs> thanks, Herschel. Yeah, thanks, asshole. Loved Herschel. I met I talked to Scott Wilson at a convention recently. Cool guy. You did? I, did I tell you about that story? No. We did a show up at uh Cleveland Wizard World and um I uh I was just walking through. I got actually uh, Karen Gillan's autograph. I went and bought uh, her autograph ticket, and I was waiting for her to come back. So I was just walking around because uh, her line was short, so I didn't feel the need to, you know, stand in it for three hours. Uh, and uh, what's his name? Seth Gilliam, I think, is his name. The guy who plays uh, Father Gabriel. Mm-hmm. He was uh, there, and he had nobody in his line. And I walked through, and the woman was like, hey, what can I do for you? Do you want an autograph or, you know, this, that? And I was like, I actually just wonder if I could say hi to him. I've got no money, but, uh, you know, if he's got time, I'd just love to shake his hand and, you know, say hi. Um, she's like, um, yeah, that's fine. And I looked over, and he was having a conversation with Scott Wilson. <laughs> um, and I'm just sitting there, like, you know, watching them talk to each other, and finally they look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sorry. And I was like, no, 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 by all means, like, take your time. Uh, and he, uh, I was wearing my Spider-Man suit actually, uh, not with the mask on, but uh, that would have been hilarious if it was with the mask. Just me on. standing there, like I'm <laughs> just dead face, hey, staring can, at them. Can Spider-Man take a picture of you, please? <laughs> uh, when I'm sitting there, <laughs> just I'm just like, it's nice to meet you. You know, I, I like what you do on the show. I'm, I want to see where Gabriel goes. He's like, yeah, man, it's really fun to do the show. We just, you know, small talk like that. And I looked over and Scott, like, I reached out and, you know, shook uh, Gabriel's hand and Scott Wilson looked at me and slowly reached out his hand <laughs> and I shook his hand and I was like, you know, I gotta tell you something. Uh, a couple years ago you were in Columbus Wizard World 
and uh, I said I was really glad that you didn't die yet in the show because I love having you around. I love seeing you every week, and I'm really glad you made it so far. And sure enough, the season before I said that you died the next season, nice. and I was I was heartbroken. And he was like, "Well, imagine how I feel." <laughs> and I was like, "I just I felt so bad." He's like, "Don't blame yourself." And I was like, "Ah, oh, Scott Wilson, you're the man." And I I said bye to him, and I said bye to Seth Gilliam. Seth Gilliam was like, hey, nice outfit, man. And I was like, thanks. Uh, <laughs> it was really cool. I feel like everyone who works on that show is a bro. Word. Um, is it time to... Is it closing time? I think it's that time. Like All I right. said before, since like we don't have any questions now, if you please... <laughs> We've um, gotten to yeah. that point. Yeah, we're in that part. Uh, we would really appreciate it if uh, people could give us uh, any tips or suggestions or comments about how to improve the show for people to be able to enjoy the and watch or listen to every week. Um, because apparently, like I said before, whatever we're doing is wrong or is upsetting people or not just not just. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And just a uh, heads up, we, we might be trying some new things in future episodes. Might do some things I've been wanting to do for a while, uh, or just whatever. And just, yeah, uh, feel free to send in questions, of course. We need a shit ton of questions. And tips and comments to primecastqna at gmail.com. That's primecastquanda at gmail.com. Yeah. You can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. You can Instagram me too, SSJAutobot. And you can follow me at Twitch at twitch.tv slash SSJ underscore Autobot. True story. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Andrew Debater. I sometimes tweet. Sometimes. Yeah, I... Sometimes, you sometimes Instagram too. I do Instagram sometimes. Um, I also... Uh, I... I don't know, I'd rather not talk about it, because I feel like it's just a bunch of empty wishes. Uh, I want to do something with YouTube again, but I just, I think just I've got... Just do it. Well, I think, I've, I think what it is, is like, I want to do something, but it's not toy reviews. What I want to do is not toy reviews. Do you have an idea of what you want to do? Uh, I'd love to do something cosplay related. Like I just tutorials. gotta, I just gotta figure. Not tutorials. Essentially, just like uh, one of those channels where you know, I'm like, hey, I'm working on this thing. Uh, here's what I'm doing on this thing, and here's the completed thing. Uh, Dance around in your thing. Yeah. Uh, with my what? Uh, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. All right, guys. That uh, that wraps it up. And until next time, thanks for listening. One more. Ugh.